Hey guys, it's Jeannie from the Tour Life Podcast. Today we're gonna look at five pairs of Yeezy 700 sneakers. But before we start, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you ring the little bell so you get notifications every time I launch a new video. So there was a re-release on the Adidas app and there were different colorways that everybody got. So Canada actually did get a, a restock of the Wave Runners. US got a restock of the Hospital Blues, the Magnets, I think the Moves, and the Inertias. And guess what? We got them. Okay, so here we go. Let's talk about the Wave Runners first. The Yeezy 700 Wave Runners are the original colorway of the Yeezy 700. I will go out on a limb right now and I will say that this is Kanye's masterpiece. These are my absolute favorite sneakers ever. They are my everydays. I love them so much. So these and Jordan 1s, that's it. Seeing as they were the first colorway, there are some things that could have been improved on, which you will see they actually were. One of the things is that the tongue actually is not connected. So you can see how it just kind of floats wherever, like you can push it and it's not the best. Now, the color blocking is absolutely gorgeous. I have no complaints about that. The suede, on the heel isn't necessarily the most luxurious, but overall it looks really nice. There's mesh all over the shoe. So if you shine a flash on here, you do see the three stripes. There is obviously 3M here, and there is 3M on the tongue loops. It really is a gorgeous shoe. I mean, I've worn these a bunch of times too, and I literally just clean them a little bit with some Mrs. Meyer multi-purpose and they look really really good. The Yeezy Wave Runner was released on August 12th, 2017 you guys. These retail for $300. In fact, all of the 700s retail for $300. If you were to buy the Wave Runners today, they would run you anywhere from about $500 to $1700. You're looking at about 600 bucks for the smaller sizes in summer 2020. They literally went up about $100 in value just in the past few months. These are not gonna be going down, you guys. This is a grill. Our next colorway is the Inertia. The Inertia came out on March 9th, 2019. That's about a year and a few months after the original colorway. There are two versions of the Inertia. So we have V1 and then we also have the V2s. I'm not really sure why Kanye decided that he needed two versions of the same colorway, but you guys know how he rolls. Something happened after the Wave Runners. After the Wave Runners, they decided that this tongue situation wasn't gonna work. They also decided that they needed to add a little bit of comfort. The insole on the Inertia is actually an ortholite insole. So this is way more comfortable than what you get on the Wave Runner. Let's compare. So this is just like a floppy piece of whatever and this is a nice sturdy ortholite insole. I mean, you can totally see it's just it's a world of a difference. There was only one other colorway that had the original insoles, and I believe that was the mauve, but after that, all of them had ortholite. The other thing that they improved on is the tongue. So the tongue used to move around a lot, but this one doesn't move around at all. They added an elastic band halfway up. Now it moves around a little bit when you slide them on, but they don't really move nearly as much as the Wave Runners. I mean, like, take a look at that once more. This one's also really nice. It has all of the mesh. It's definitely in line with the Wave Runner. However, a pretty significant difference, which is something that a lot of people complained about, was that the suede on the back, this is actually a lot softer than this. So you're definitely getting better quality on the newer colorways. This colorway in particular is so sexy. I mean, come on, look at the bottoms. It's got this cream bottom and then it's got these really pretty light colored splashes right here. You still get your 3M. You still get your 3M shining through the mesh. You get the nice suede on the upper and you still have the leather here, just like the original Wave Runners. That's pretty much identical. So these are kind of like the Wave Runners, just new and improved. Now you'll 
you'll notice that something else about the insides of these two colorways is that the Wave Runners have this kind of ugly bottom, but the newer colorways have nicer bottoms. So these actually look a lot more like the 350s. You can see the boost all the way down. The Inertias also retail for $300 and they're reselling in the smaller sizes for about 450 bucks. So you are looking at a markup, but it's not outrageous like the Wave Runners. The next colorway that I have is the Analogs. So there actually is a video that I did with my new puppy that you might wanna check out. It's not the most informative, but it's kinda of cute. The Analogs are beautiful. I love them. They are not just a regular white sneaker. They actually have tons of different colors. The color blocking looks very high end. It's more of a simple piece. I truly appreciate it. I mean, you have this salt color, which I, you know, it's kind of like an off white bluish color in the midsole on the splash. And you have this cream color all the way through the midsole. You also have these hits of 3M that you see on both the Inertia and the Wave Runner. You will also see the 3M in the three stripes under the mesh, and you do have a mesh upper in addition to your suede upper. This suede is pretty luxurious and it's all the way across. You do have different shades of suede, so the materials are similar, but they are different colors as you can tell. The inside has this really pretty hit of blue. They have the elastic along the side that keeps the tongue from moving around too much. The analogs were released on April 27, 2019 at a retail price of $300. Right now for the smaller sizes, you're looking at over $600. So they are also pricey, kind of like the Wave Runners. I attribute it to just the fact that they are so versatile. Now we're going to take a look at the magnets. These were released on September 9, 2019, and they retailed for $300 just like the others. Right now, you can cop them for about 500 bucks. This is the colorway that has the most similar color blocking to the Yeezy Wave Runner. As you can see, they're very similar. They're a little bit more of a wintry vibe because they don't have mesh. The mesh is no longer there. You can see in the Wave Runner that this is mesh, but not here. Most of the upper consists of what I would say is a polyester blend. People have said it's neoprene, but I, it doesn't look like neoprene to me. You don't really see a ton of 3M in this colorway, but you do have these sexy gum bottoms. And you guys, I am a sucker for gum bottoms, honestly. I would wear these just for the gum bottoms. Other than that, I mean, you just have your suede with your gray color blocking, which is not Nice. I wouldn't say it's the most interesting by any means, but the gum bottoms I think kind of makes up for it because the midsole is almost identical to the Wave Runner. One of the problems that I have with these is that it looks like the quality control wasn't the best. Right here in the splash, you can see that the paint job isn't amazing. It's almost like it was an afterthought, which is kind of strange. But they are one of the cheaper 700s, so if you don't own a pair of 700s and you really want one, this is a good alternative to the Wave Runner. You know, apples and oranges whatever that means. We've seen four. Now we're gonna see number five. Our next 700s are the Hospital Blues. I have an interesting thing with these sneakers. I've walked into sneaker shops and at SneakerCon, I saw a lot of these and I really wasn't wowed by them. I saw these and they didn't quite catch my eye. However, I took a better look at them. And these are actually really luxurious. I was under the impression that this was all mesh, which obviously I don't have a problem with mesh because I love the Wave Runners. However, these have a really nice pebbled cotton upper, which honestly feels so luxurious. It's definitely very wintry. It's definitely not gonna be very breathable, but it is comfortable. And this is something that you could definitely wear when it's wet out, when it's cold out, it's gonna keep you safe. It's gonna keep your little feet warm. It's actually pretty sexy. I mean, when I really saw like the detail in the fabric, I just couldn't help but really like them. Now this particular colorway, I wouldn't say is anything to write home about. However, it has really nice details. So just like the analogs, which at first glance look like it's just a pair of white sneakers, these aren't just a pair of blue gray sneakers. These actually have a bunch of silver going on. So the silver comes from the 3M obviously, but it really gives it like 
a little, it's like an understated luxurious feeling that these give you. And something that I love is that, remember the tongue problem that we had? With the V2s, they actually did away with the elastic band. They just stitched the entire tongue all the way up. These don't move. If you're the type of person that is just going to slide your shoes on and you're gonna be lazy about it, more power to you, and definitely go for a pair of V2s because like this is it. Another thing I notice about these is that the bottoms are actually not black. It looks like they're black, but this is black. The Wave Runners are black. This is more of a charcoal. And so Kanye is doing what Kanye does best. He's diving into all the different shades of colors and he's adding them to these colorways to add in luxury. Because remember, when you buy anything or when you pick colors, there's your primary colors and your secondary colors. And those are all readily available all over the place. But when you start digging into these other shades, that's when you know that they really did put some time into it. So I know that we all give Kanye crap for picking another gray, but you gotta give them a little bit of credit. I mean, it looks pretty good. The good news about the hospital blues is that these V2s you can also find for about 400 bucks. So they retail for 300 and resale on StockX, you're paying 400 bucks. A lot of the men's sizes are actually pretty cheap. You can actually find them for about just about retail, sometimes even below. Something else that's different about these is that the splash actually sticks out a little bit. So do you see how it's kind of a deep groove right there? Well, the inertias, for example, do not. So None of these guys are gonna have a deep groove, but the Hospital Blues will, all of the V2s will. Something else you'll notice is that this is actually a charcoal. This is actually black. And these are also two different shades of charcoal. You gotta give it to Kanye. He is into details. That's it for our Yeezy 700 review, haul, and comparison. If you guys wanna go out and grab a pair of these, definitely do it because they are only gonna go up in value. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of these videos, make sure you like and subscribe and you ring the little bell so that you get notifications every time I launch a new video. Remember that I'm also the host of the Tour Life Podcast where I interview music industry professionals about living happier, healthier lives on and off the road.